Welcome to Hybis TV. This is Kangsha Gangapuram, and you're watching National Business News. Amid robust office spaces absorption seen during 2022, vacancies level across the top six cities dropped by 190 basis points (YOY) to 16.6 percent, indicates strong recovery and stability in the commercial office markets, albeit higher than pre-pandemic levels. Vacancies levels have declined every successive quarter of 2022 and leasing momentum remained positive. Total leasing during the year was noted at 50.3 million square feet, the highest in any year. Occupiers went ahead with their expansion plans after have been innovating and watching more for the two years. While the year 2022 saw robust demand, there was some weekend in the market activities in Q4 2022 as occupiers took a caution stance amid global recessionary conditions. As a result, gross absorption in Q4 2022 was about 21% lower than the average seen during Q1-Q3 2022. Marico Limited, one of the India's leading FMCG companies, has launched Safolo Munchies, a range of tasty yet healthy snacking options. Made from the goodness of Indian super grains like ragi and makna, Safolo Munchies aims at making snack better for you. Marico Limited, under their Safolo portfolio, have been constantly innovating to curate healthier food options while ensuring to the cater to the taste of preference of a modern Indian consumer. Taking it as a step further, the company has rolled out its latest innovation in the ready-to-eat snack category, Safolo Munchies Ragi Chips and Safolo Munchies Roasted Makna in various flavors. Safolo Munchies Ragi Chips comes in a small packet and the family pack. These chips are uniquely cone-shaped and promise double the crunch. Ragi chips have 50% less saturated fat than chips fried in the plum oil. <music> Yet again, inking another stupendous result, Akash Baidus, the national leader in the test preparatory services, has 424 students qualified for the prestigious National Standard Examination. National Standard Examination NSC conducted by the IAPT in the Physics, Chemistry, Biology, Astronomy and Junior Science as the first stage for the International Olympiad. All further stages are conducted by the Homi Bharat Centre for the Science Education, HBCSC Mumbai. After NSC, the next step for the eligible students is the Indian National Olympiad INO examination in the respective subjects. A whooping of 219 students from Akash Baijus are selected in NSEB. A total of 52 students cleared NSEA a Group A and 17 students NSEA Group B. 88 students cleared NSEC, 35 students cleared NSEP and 13 students cleared NSEJS. Dalmia Cement Bharat Limited, DCBL, a leading Indian cement major, has made building homes a rewarding experience for customers with its exciting new Dalmia Cement DSP Every Home Happy offer across the South region where Dalmia Cement has a presence. The concept behind this activity is that which DCBL is your partner in creating a new home, it believes happiness is not befitting in an empty house and hence it must be accompanied by gifts that add to the joy. The prize includes bikes and a Petrora of gifts including assured gifts on special slab purchases. The consumer promotions will go live in these markets starting from 1st January 2023 to 28th of February 2023. The Dalmia Cement DSP Every Home Happy Offer encourages consumers to start building homes as December March is the ideal season for the home construction. <music> India's tourism industry contributed $178 billion or about 5.8% to the country's gross domestic product in 2021. This will more than double to $512 billion by 2028 according to the government data. The tourism sector provides about 137 million jobs. The industry have been noticing historic high demand of rates and occupancies with domestic travel witness of a surge. Other than scenic beauty, Meghalaya in the new year has a boutique or festival lined up that are sure to please all kind of travellers. The government of Meghalaya under the leadership of CM Sri Kornad Sangama envisioned making Meghalaya one of the top 10 states of the country and tourism plays a pivotal role in achieving this goal. <music> IAN, India's single largest platform for seed and early age investing, ends 2022 with investment in 52 companies with over Rs 85 crores of investment in fintech, B2B SaaS, D2C and cleantech among other. 
these are all companies solving real problems and therefore are the either consumer facing or creating impact taking ahead of its vision of boosting the startup ecosystem and supporting entrepreneurs to build high growth valuable companies iron invested in 11 women owned ventures and 13 startups from the tier 2 and tier 3 cities 2022 also brought lucrative access from the 13 high value companies against an investment of rupees 28 crores in these 13 companies iron have cash exit of almost 4x and investor continued to hold shares worth rupees 180 crores. Further, IN's portfolio companies have raised the total funding of rupees 1260 crores this year. Thank you for watching. Signing off, keep watching Hibis News.